Hey guys, we just finished doing a flight on the DC-3 and it flew terrible. There's a lot of jello and a lot of vibration in the flight. So let's take it on the bench and see what's going on here. The jello is this shaking that you see in the video feed. And for me, it looks like the shaking intensifies with throttle inputs. So as I give more throttle, the shaking becomes worse. So that automatically points to some kind of issues with either the props or with the, the motors. So the first thing I like to do here is start with something very simple. And the simplest thing is check for any kind of loose screws. Next, we're gonna check to see if the propellers are okay. And the way I like to do this is by lining up the two propellers and making sure that they are in line. So we can see here that this propeller is good. And I've already tried just uh, for sanity's sake, changing to a brand new set of props to see if that resolves the issue. We're gonna go and check each motor to see if these motors have any kind of um, vibration or any kind of damage on them. our beta flight and within the beta flight app under the motors tab we have our accelerometer chart and we can see as we move the quad we start to see um, some action here so you can use this to help you diagnose any motor issues but what I find is you can hear a vibrating motor or even feel it so I'm gonna hold the quad and I'm gonna try spinning up the motors and see if this is getting very hot, so it will be as quick as possible. So that's very smooth. A little bit of vibration on number two. Number three is smooth. Number four. So the motor that seems like it's vibrating a lot more than the other three is this guy here. Let's check it out once more. Oh yeah, right here, I can feel it. Okay, so I think we found our issue, motor number two here. And if we look at this motor, yeah, so we see that there is a little bit of a bang mark on the bell here. You can see that right there. And some of what I do is if I do have some motor parts lying around, I'll just switch out the bell. I don't have any right now, so we'll go ahead and switch out the whole motor. Okay, so we'll check once more. Okay, good. Good. Not bad. Good. All right, perfect. So now what we'll do is we'll put this thing back together, take it out, and hopefully we resolved our jello issue. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Just a quick video here showing us how we can troubleshoot some vibration or jello issues in our quads.